All right, so last time I managed to get this layout finished for the uh, the profile. Uh, now I'm going to add this this icon up here to click and navigate to this screen right here. So I'll uh, I'll get this icon set up, um, the navigation, and hopefully also get this layout built. So let's go and start off in. We need to go to uh, center profile and we need to go to that snippet. So this one right here, the snippet. No, not that one. Need the top bar. There we go. Snippet top profile bar. That's what we want. So let's open up that file. Actually, you can close this colors. And I want to put an image view right here. I know I said originally I was going to make a menu, but I realized making just putting an image view in here with an icon is going to be much easier. So let's put an image view and we'll just do maybe 25 D. Oops, that's not DP. DP by 25 DP. Align parent right true. So then we'll do margin end, uh, maybe 20 dp. And actually, let's make this a little bigger. We'll do 30 dp and 30 dp. And we'll do uh, center vertical true, even though I think it was already centered vertically, so that's okay. And let's do an ID of profile menu. Okay, so that should be cool. Now I need to import an image for the icon. So let's go get an image asset and we'll go to action bar tab icons and we'll find image hmm I remember what it is give me a sec to find it there we go it's called more vert so if you type more vert that's the one you want you can use whatever you want that's just what I like to use and I'm gonna call it uh, I see ellipsis because it looks like an ellipsis and change the color so click here custom go to black all right and then we'll go down to our image view I'm just going to set a source, uh, drawable, and there's our ellipses. Cool. So that looks much better, and it's just easy. It's just going to be much easier to set up. We can just put an on-click listener on the image view instead of actually having to set up the, the menu. So we can, uh, we can delete this profile menu right here. We don't need that anymore. Delete anyway. Cool. So now if we go to activity profile, there we go. We have that up there. So now I want to actually build this screen. I'm gonna call it the account settings screen and I'm gonna make it an activity and then I'm gonna make these fragments. So all of this, this is gonna be an activity layout and then the edit profile screen is gonna be a fragment and the sign out screen is also going to be a fragment. That'll make it easy if we wanna add more things to the account settings page in the future. We can have all the fragments hosted off of that activity. So we will create a new uh, layout file and it's an activity so I'm gonna say activity account settings go to the text tab and like I mentioned we're gonna be uh, using this to host some fragments so we're gonna create a coordinator layout because we're gonna need a view pager in the future so we'll create a coordinator layout there we go we can get rid of this vertical orientation I guess we'll start by creating the, the bar at the top that that's always the good place to start so we'll create a relative layout to hold the entire thing and let's see that will give it an ID ID uh, rel, we can just call it relative layout one. We can reuse IDs in layouts as long as they're different layouts, so that's fine. We can reuse our relative layout one ID. And then below that, we're going to put another relative layout. And this one's going to be match parent and wrap content for the height. So we're going to have, um, this is where we're going to actually put our toolbar. The reason I'm using wrap content is because in the snippet where I define the toolbar, I'm going to set the height. So we can just use wrap content here. And this is going to be an ID, we'll just do relative layout too. So now let's create a new layout resource file, and this is going to be our snippet for our top bar. So we'll do a snippet, top, let's do account, settings, account settings toolbar. Kind of a long name, but at least we know what we're talking about. And we need to get those merge tags. So I'm just going to go into snippet profile, copy the merge tag, go back here, paste that in and close off that merge tag. And we can close the snippet that I opened, there we go. And here is where we're gonna create our top toolbar. Actually, you know what, some of this stuff's gonna be very similar. So let's go and grab and, let's go into uh, snippet top profile, or no, not snippet top profile, uh, top profile bar. And we can, let's just grab, uh, let's copy the whole thing. That'll make it easy. And then go back into our, we can close that layout, go back into our Snippet top account settings toolbar, paste everything in, and then we can just change a few things. It's gonna be very, very similar. This text view right here, I can just change to uh, options, 
And I also want to put another, uh, actually, I'm just going to move this image view. I'll put this image view here and get rid of the align parent right. And I'll just do a margin start of like 10 dp and give it an ID. And I'll say uh, this one to right of the, whatever the ID is going to be here. So we'll call this uh, back arrow because it's going to be a back arrow and we'll do that. And that's a little bit of a l big margin. So we'll do maybe 5 dp. And now we need to import an icon for that. So as you can see here, I used a back arrow. So we'll just, uh, I might've actually already imported one. Let's check the drawables folder. I can't remember. I see arrow. No, it's the wrong size. Wrong side, I mean, sorry. So let's import a new image asset. Action bar and tab icons. And grab that back arrow right there. So we'll do back arrow. Change the color to black. Cool, looks pretty good. Then we'll go into our image view here. Doesn't seem to be um, coming up. I'll just type it. Should be okay. Let's rebuild it since the uh, autocomplete wasn't working there. Oh, so I rebuilt and it's pointing me here and telling me that this doesn't exist anymore, which is true because I deleted that menu. So let's get rid of that and uh, make sure that I don't have anything else. I'll just rebuild again and it'll point out any errors because I deleted that menu file in the previous video. And looks like it built successfully that time. So let's go back to our snippet here. And our we have no preview on the side. So I went to the event log down here and it looks like it's giving me this uh, canon initialize class uh, executor singleton. I Googled it and it told me to go up here, go to file, go to invalidate caches and uh, invalidate and restart. So let's give that a try and see if that fixes it. Okay, it looks like that fixed it. Uh, I actually have a preview available now, which is good. So uh, let's see, where were we? Right, so we're building this toolbar. Uh, that looks good. I think we just need to add a border on the bottom now. So we're gonna add that. Uh, oh no, we actually already have that. So actually that looks good, that looks fine. So let's go to activity account settings and we'll use our include tags here again. So we'll go include uh, layout and this one's gonna be snippet pop account settings toolbar and close that tag off, there we go. So now below that relative layout, we'll create another relative layout. And this one will be match parent and match parent. Whoops. And inside here, we'll give this one an ID of rel layout three, and it's going to be below ID uh, rel layout two. Oh, didn't name that right. There we go. Below rel layout two. And this one, we're going to need to put a margin on the bottom for our our bottom navigation view. Always need to make sure that we add that in there. So we're going to build the center part of this. So we'll go create a new, another new layout file. And this one I'm going to call uh, layout center account settings. And go to the text tab, dra drag it over there. So this layout's going to be pretty simple. It's just going to have a heading that says account settings and then a list view. And the list view is going to contain all the different uh, things that you can click on. In our case, there's going to be two options to start with. So let's uh, paste the merge tag in there. You can get it from any one of your activities. And we'll create a relative layout inside here. And let's do a layout height of wrap content. And then width of match parent. And let's do, uh, we'll do some padding of 20 dp to bring everything into the center. And we'll set a background color of, whoops, color of white. Okay, and then inside this relative layout, we're just gonna have a text view match current wrap content and the ID is going to be text settings and text so account settings and we'll do text size we'll just do 35 dp and the color will be black and background gray border maybe gray border so this we're actually going to have to create a new um, a new border file for because the current uh, white gray border bottom that we've been using this one right here white gray border bottom uh, because of the way it's designed with these these negatives if you use padding these negatives don't actually do anything 
because the, ne the neg negatives bring it off the screen, but if you use padding to bring it in, uh, you're still going to see those borders. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll do an example here. So background, my gray border bottom. See, it's supposed to only show on the bottom, but it shows everywhere. But if, if you were to do it on, say, this relative layout, uh, you wouldn't see it. So if I do white gray border bottom, that one you don't see it because the negatives bring it off the screen. So we need to make a new file for that. So this I'll change back to white, and this one we're gonna have to create a new file. So we'll go to Drawable and go right click, new Drawable resource, and this one I'm just gonna call gray border bottom. And we're gonna use a layer list. And let's create an item. And then inside the item, we'll create a shape. To uh, Android shape rectangle, I can close that, and then inside here we can do solid uh, color, and I'm going to do gray. I can close that tag, and then below that we're going to create. Uh, I'm going to close close the item tag, and then below that I'm going to create another item. Do bottom 1dp and then uh, close that tag and then here we'll do another shape and do another uh, rectangle and close that shape and then inside here we'll do solid again and color uh, color white so down here there so you can see we have that gray border there, there at the bottom now we can use that one in our account settings here so this is just going to be a gray border bottom. And now you only see the gray border on the bottom, as you can see from the preview over there. Cool. Now below the account settings headings, this is where we're going to put the list view. I'll do uh, match parent and match parent. And we just need to put it below. So below ID uh, text, text settings. There we go. And we'll give this an ID. And I'm just going to call it list view. Actually, it better be more descriptive. Let's go list view account settings and that will be that whoa what's that over there it's like a gray that's weird I, I see this gray thing over here but I think it's just the list view widget like causing a glitch I don't think that's gonna show up so um, I'll leave that for now but I'll come back and fix it if it causes an issue okay let's go back into our uh, activity account settings and I'm just going to copy this include tag because we're going to include that new layout that we just built. And this one is going to be um, layout center account settings. And there we go. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm going to, well, like I said, we'll come back to it if, if it's a problem. And then the last thing we need to do is just uh, get our bottom navigation view in here. And that's it. So there we go. There we have our account settings layout. Uh, let's quickly just attach navigation to the activity before I end the video. We'll go to profile activity in here. And since we deleted that um, that menu, I can just get rid of this whole thing here. And we just need to declare our image view widget that we have. And I'll call it uh, profile menu equals image view, find view by ID, or not ID dot profile menu. I believe it was called. I can check in activity profile and go into uh, layout center profile is where it was. Do I have that open? Nope. So let's go to layout center profile and I can check the name of the image view. Oh no, it was in the, it was in the toolbar. It's profile top toolbar. Uh, snippet top profile bar, so this guy. And this image view is called profile menu. I have way too many things open. I'm just going to close them all. And go back to profile activity, and that's profile menu. That's good. Now we can do profile menu set on click listener, new on click listener, and I can log uh, navigating to account settings. And here we just use an intent. We're going to call it account settings activity class. I haven't named this yet, so it's coming up red. 
and then I do start activity, pass the intent, and let's create this class really quick. So right click on profile, new Java class, account settings activity, extend app compact activity, just insert uh, on create really quick here, set content view r dot layout dot activity activity account settings and just maybe log started go up here do log t for our tag and that should be okay we need to add it to the manifest though so let's go to the manifest and activity it's not showing up here oh yeah account settings activity there we go and close off that tag so now we should be able to navigate to it. Everything should work okay. Let's give the app a test. All right, navigate to the profile activity. And we'll click on this button up here. Oh, I forgot to turn off that progress bar, but that's fine. We can fix that in the next video. So let's click on the menu item up here, and there we go. It takes us to the activity settings. Cool. So that's a good place to end off here. In the next one, I'm going to set up the settings list. So there'll be an option to edit your profile or to sign out. And I'll also uh, hook up the back navigation for this back navigation button here. And we'll get that progress dialog uh, disappeared. So I'll see you guys in that next